New hood struts for the Toyota Tacoma. Let's put them on. <laughs> everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today I'm going to be installing some hood struts on my new Toyota Tacoma. Now these are different than I had before. These are bolt-on. No drilling, no rivets, none of that stuff. These are from Soki Tech and you get a couple of hood struts, of course you need those, and then you get some hardware, I'll show you where that goes, and then some brackets to hold on the hood struts. They also include, of course, some instructions, but I gotta say, these are horrible. So if you're looking to install these, this is the video to watch. Tools wise, all you need is a 10 millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket, and a little rag, and of course, some rubbing alcohol to clean off two areas on the hood, because these do have a double-sided tape on the back. They actually bolt on to one each of the hood struts, one on each side of course. You have a right and a left. This is from the driver's seat perspective. So the right is the passenger side, the left is the driver's side. And then the hardware goes in in some already existing threaded holes in the truck. Your two struts are different lengths. The longer one, you can see there, right there, is going to go on the passenger side and the shorter one goes on the driver's side. So make sure you get that right. Now, as far as where they go, the brackets themselves are gonna bolt on in the first screw on each side of the hood uh, with the double-sided tape sticking right up here. I'll show you that. The little nub where the strut connects is in a little threaded hole right down here on this panel. I'm gonna actually remove it. So you can see this is very easy to take off. It just pushes forward. There is a little push pin right up here that you take off. That's pretty simple. That's it. On the driver's side, same thing. You're going to put your hood bracket right up here in this first bolt. So you don't have to remove both bolts and screw up your hood alignment. Down here is where the other little nub is going to go for the other end of the strut. It actually goes right here and takes the place of the little bolt, if you will, that holds on your ground. So it screws in right here. That's easy. You don't need to remove the little panel on this side to do that because obviously you have access. So let me go ahead, get the uh, camera set up on a tripod and I'll show you how easy this is to do. We're going to go ahead and pop this first bolt. Again, it's the top bolt on your hood hinge over here. You have this little uh, windshield washer fluid tube in the way. You can kind of just move that over, not a big deal. So let's go ahead and pop this off. Make sure you don't drop it. That'd be a drag. Okay, and then you're going to want to pop the double-sided tape off the back. That should be pretty easy. One other thing I did to clean this area off right up here with rubbing alcohol, so just make sure that you do that. Let's go ahead and get this bolt in there. And then we'll go ahead and stick it on at the top once I get it going a little bit. You just want to get it fairly level up and down, if you will. Again, it's not rocket science, it's not difficult to do. So you just want it about like so. Again, pretty much level up and down like that. Okay, and then while holding it, we'll go ahead and tighten this down. And that was pretty tight to begin with, as you could see, so you want to make sure you get it nice and tight when you put it back on. Now we'll go over and do the other side. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on this side. Don't know why I had a slow motion effect on the other side, but hey, more dramatic, I guess, right? So let's go ahead and pop this one off. Again, it's on there pretty tight, so this is one where I don't think you have to be afraid to get on it when you tighten it down. Make sure you keep track of the bolt. Okay. 
again, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's not uh, critical. You just want to make sure it's straight up and down for the most part. That's the idea. Tighten that bolt up by hand as much as you can. And then we're going to crank on it. That's about as tight as that needs to be. Well, that takes care of the two hood brackets. Now we're going to put the little nubs on the side. Now, the one that has the washer on it goes over here, right down here where the ground is. So we're going to do that one first. Okay, this takes a 10 millimeter to get the bolt out of the ground here, and then an 11 millimeter to go ahead and put your little nub back in. So we're going to go ahead and Pull the stock ground bolt, if you will. And by the way, I had mentioned before, this is the one with the washer. There's actually two washers, one for each side. So you will have one for each, each little nub that you're going to put on there. Again, make sure you keep track of the bolt. We're going to be replacing it, but still, don't want to drop it down inside here. It's kind of a drag. Okay. I should be able to go ahead and feed this one right back through the hole. So that's our theory. That's our hope. There you go. Screws in there pretty well, actually. Then go to your 11 millimeter socket. Helps to have a deep well, of course. Matter of fact, I think you have to have a deep well. Actually, a 12 is too big, so this is somewhere in between. I'm going to grab just a wrench or something, tighten this down. You don't want to use a 12, it's too big. Or I should say an 11. This is an 11 and it's too big. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this the rest of the way down and then we'll go over and do the other side. Okay, next up, we're going to remove this trim piece here just to make it easier. You don't have to, but I think it's better access. Why make it more difficult than it has to be? So there is a push pin here, as I mentioned. You want to go ahead and just pop that out. Screwdriver or something to pull the center piece out makes it easier. And then should just be able to pull it out like so, set it aside, make sure you don't lose it. And then this piece just pushes in and then it comes out. So I'm going to do that. Just like so. Make sure this part here is going to go inside of this part right here, right there. And that's it. Just set that aside. It's pretty simple. The screw hole that we need is down there. Let me move you around. I'll show you where that is. The screw hole is right here. There's nothing in it. It's just right behind the corner of the air cleaner or the air box. Uh, it's threaded, so we have our little nub we're going to put in there. Again, make sure you have the washer on it. So, should just be able to screw that right in. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down and then we'll be ready to put the struts on. I will put the cover back on. I'll show you that real quick. We've got the little nub on down here. Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and put the little trim piece back on. Again, this isn't too difficult either. Slides back on over these little white nubs here. Make sure you get them all lined up and then just give it a push like so. Then we're going to go ahead, put our little push pin back in here, push the center in, and that's it. It's all done. So now all we need to do is put the struts on. Again, remember, the longer one goes on the passenger side, and the shorter one goes on the driver's side. So let me go grab the longer one. 
All right, now as to which way these go, I'm going by the pictures on the less than spectacular uh, instructions, and it looks like the bigger part here goes up at the top. So it'll go towards the top of the hood with the shorter, thinner part down at the bottom for what it's worth. So let's go ahead. These should just snap on in theory. Just kind of pushes in or snaps on like that. Now I'm going to set you guys back a little bit, get you out of danger. I'm going to go ahead and put the hood up a little bit and we should be able to go ahead and snap the bottom one in. Just make sure you have it rotated so you're starting off the right way. Looks like it's going to be about an inch and a half, maybe two inches higher than uh, what, it, what it is with the old-fashioned rod here. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and get it out of the way. There we go. Push the hood up. And get this thing seated properly. like it's it right there. Yeah, didn't really hear a snap or anything, but I think I'm I think I'm okay. So we're actually holding it up now with the strut. So let's go ahead and do the driver's side. It's going to be the same uh, procedure, of course, with the big part at the top. So let's go ahead and snap that in. There, that does it. That puts both of them on, top and bottom, both sides. Now we're going to do the, uh, the big test. We're going to see if it actually works. So, make sure I got all my tools and junk out of the way. I don't see anything in here. Fasten down the old style holder or rod. We're not going to need that anymore. And now, let's give it a try, see how it works. Make sure it shuts, first of all. Well, that's tall. Look at that. I'm almost all the way stretched out to get to that. Well, it's shut, so no big deal there. Now I got to go unlatch it again. Okay, let's see if it goes up on its own. It did not. Might have to work it a little bit, actually, just to get it used to going. So let's try it a couple more times. That's safety lock, if you will. And there you go. It's up. It's nice and sturdy. I can tell you it's, uh, it's not wanting to come down. So you don't have to worry about that. I know there have been people out there before that think, well, it's going to fall on you. It's not going to happen. One more time. Testing. There we go. And let's unlatch it. Give it a little push. And there you have it. Awesome. Okay, there you have it. That is the installation of the hood struts on my new Toyota Tacoma. Gotta say, this is a heck of a lot easier than the other brands out there where you actually have to drill, use a rivet gun. Those are a pain. I don't know why when something like this exists, you wouldn't use it. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by these people. It's just when you come across a good product that makes sense, I like to get behind it. So anyway, that's it. There'll be a link down below if you want to check them out. Uh, I like them. I think they're pretty cool. It actually gives me more lift uh, in the hood than I had before. Probably about an inch and a half, two inches, something like that. Uh, at five foot nine and a half. I have to kind of stretch a little bit to get up there to get it but I can still get it anyway. And if I really needed to, I could grab right here at the little hold down for the hood. No big deal. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these. I think they're awesome. I'd be curious to know what you think. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra. and Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, 
smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.